All right, folks. So what we have here is a Zippo lighter, but you already knew that because you saw the uh, thumbnail for the video. Uh, what I want to do is I want to open this box up, get this lighter out, and take a look at it and uh, talk about it a little bit. But before I do that, why don't you all go grab yourself a nice cold beer, come on back, and we'll get started. All right, so hopefully everybody made it back. Um, I picked a Zippo lighter up because I wanted to get something else that I could carry around as part of my EDC. And that's only partially true. But <clears throat> I did see a video, and uh, like somebody had a pretty cool Zippo. And I was like, damn, that's cool. I, should, I need to get me one of those. I want to I wanna look cool, too. And I used to have uh, Zippo lighters years and years ago. And I'm talking like 20 years ago when I was a kid. Um, but I stopped using them when I really got into smoking cigars seriously because um, what I found is is that the fluid and uh, I got some Ronsol Ronsol oil or lighter fluid here. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put it in here and get this thing going. But uh, it imparts a little bit of a taste on your cigar, so it's really not the best type of lighter to use for that. Um, but I've been smoking a lot less cigars lately. I've been more into vaping, which is probably a bad thing. And if you're a kid, don't start. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to pick up a lighter, so this is it. This is right here. This is, um, let's see if I can bring it up and get some, some zoom action on it. I think it's what they call their tumbled brass. There you go, you can see it. And uh, in the knife community, we call this stone washing. So it's really where they take a, a lighter, you, you can see it there, and they throw it into a big bucket with some some rocks and stuff like that or some pieces of ceramic and they tumble it until it gets this finish and uh, I thought that looked cool and I like brass so I went ahead and ordered this one this lighter is part of their armor uh, class or armor case and if you take a look at that what it really says is, is that the armor case is one and a half times as thick as a standard Zippo case so these things cost a little bit more I think this was around 15 bucks and uh, they're a little bit more sturdy a little bit more uh, well built. So we take a look at it. Here you can see the bottom of it. It's uh it's marked Zippo and it has a B sixteen which is February sixteenth and when it was made and then it says uh Bradford so it looks like Bradford PA made in the USA and then here is the symbol for any of the armor style Zippos. It has a sticker on the back. Which I wish it didn't because I feel like as I peel this off let me get some zooming in action. I just feel like as I peel this off, it's going to leave some sort of, and you can see it right there, residue or stickiness or, it's not sticky, so that might just be where the rest of the, the brass is discolored. Hopefully I can get this off in one piece. And basically this red thing is just a warning sticker that says, uh, lighters are not for children, and it's got a picture of it. I guess it's supposed to be a kid, but that kind of looks like my neighbor. So, and he's 40, so I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a kid or an adult. Uh, it comes with an instruction manual, but uh, if you watch any of my other videos, you know, we don't watch. We don't, we don't read instruction manuals. So, here's a lighter. The insert is brass as well, which I think is kind of extra cool. Here it is, if you take a look at it. And this was made, it looks like it's got a B16 on there as well. I don't know if that's going to come across or not. But, uh, there you go. Now, when you take a look at the inside of this lighter, it says lift to fill. So we're going to lift this up, and we're going to put some of this Ronson oil in here. But before everybody gets worked up and says, you're supposed to use Zippo fuel and all that stuff, Zippo bought Ronson. So right here it says it's, uh, Ronson and Ronsol, or Ronsol, or Registered Trademarks, a Zippo manufacturing company. So let me go ahead and see if I can get this open. And I can't, so let me see if I can grab a tool or utility to go ahead and get it open and then and that's not going to work there we go we're going to we're going to go ahead we're going to use this and then we're going to go ahead and get to filling there we go and then this thing's actually countersunk a little bit if I, when I remember having zippers before they weren't as far down as that but I'm not sure it really matters. And this is like a piece of felt or something. And it uh, has absorption qualities. So I imagine this thing will absorb some of the fuel. But we're up. 
Let's go ahead and squirt this in here. And uh, I think you could see that it was just leaking everywhere. And I'm not sure how much we need to put in. So we're going to put, oh boy, that was too much. I was going to say, we're going to put in a shitload, and we did that. And uh, that looks like that might have been a little bit of a mistake. So let me hit the pause button, come back, clean up, and then uh, we'll continue to go. All right, we're back, and it smells like a kerosene factory in here. Uh, so I'm going to let this evaporate a little bit and catch a little bit of a buzz from it. But uh, before we continue to go on and burn the house down, I did want to show the back of this. Uh, one of the things I noticed in some other Zippo videos, people always cover the bottom of the sticker up with their thumb, and I don't, I don't understand that. I don't know if this number has any significance. I bought this off of Amazon, and like I said, it was around 15 bucks, and it's the Armor Tumbled Brass is what they're calling it. So I wanted to go ahead and show that to you. Um, hopefully, this discoloration will, and I don't, this might have been just from the, uh, the fuel, but hopefully that will take care of itself uh, in the future moving forward. So there it is, it's got that signature sound for Zippo when you open it up. and There you go, it lights, so it works. Um, I'm not really sure there's much more to share or show or tell or talk about uh, oh, other than that. But I uh, just wanted to do a quick video. Let's zoom in on the thing one last time. Get one more, one more light. So there it is. There we go. Thanks, everybody.